Hello again everybody, this is Jim uh, in Hawaii with an update on my dual loop system. Um, I'm pointing towards the plant side of the dual loop and um, that is the uh, IBC sump tank and I'm going to unplug that because it's probably too noisy for anybody to hear me with that thing running. So, There we go. Much better. Okay. So before I get to the plant side, let me just update you on the fish side. Um, I've added a shunt. Uh, it's that second pipe on the right there uh, above the pump. And it comes down and it just goes right into the sump tank. It's got a little valve there. And it's a one and a half inch pipe. The other thing I did was added my drainage from my radio flow filter and my bio filter it's right here little two quarter inch pipes and those both go down into my mineralization tank lots of valve and then the last thing I did was I added my uh, air pump put it up high above the water line and uh, People have been asking, you know, that's my little skimmer filter right there. It's just a screw on thing. It's got a bunch of holes. I don't know if I can see that or not. It's got a bunch of holes in it. Um, yeah, it's probably not very visible. You see the fish think I'm going to feed them or something. They want to come up and nibble on my hand there. They're pretty tame. Probably wouldn't last long in the wild. <laughs> And the water looks pretty good. A few things floating around, but all in all, fairly clean. Uh, some of these fish are giant. You know, I got a couple in there that are well over two pounds. And that's my air stone down there. I use that at night. Uh, 78 of them in there. And that's my Venturi still working up there. Okay. So onto the plant side. Um, I've got a uh, 1,200 per gallon, uh, a 1,200 gallon per hour pump right there. It's in, it's in a black netting bag there. And um, that pipe that's dribbling water there, that's coming out of this, the uh, mineralization tank. That'll flow freely, continuously once it's, if the, if the system's turned on. And then uh, this comes up, that's just a shunt. I'm going to extend that down into the water so it doesn't make so much noise. And that's the uh, drain from my uh, mixing tank, which is right here. And this is, uh, you know, constant level. Stays pretty much the same. And there's the drain from the grow beds. It just runs underneath all the grow beds. I got two of them active right now. And then uh, the third one I got to fill up with media before I do anything with it. I was kicking around a floating bed, but I think I'm going to skip that and just go to media. Uh, it's just lava rock. So, the pump comes up. It's got a valve there. It goes through. The uh, IBC comes around. goes down into the interior down there. Remember the valve there. I got lots of valves. And it comes up. And then you can see there's a little black tube here. That's going to be for my Dutch bucket system when I get it hooked up. And then it goes... Uh, down the pipe into the uh, pre-grow beds. That tomato plant was a rescue. Um, it was from my last system. It grew by itself out of seed from one of the other plants. So I just let it go. thought it would die, but it never did, so I just threw it in there yesterday. Maybe it'll come back. It's not too bad looking, but it's definitely got some deficiencies. Yeah. Um, and then there's the Immunization pipe again. Coming from both tanks. This goes into my immunization tank. Like I showed you this yesterday. It's got a filter down there. Lots of air comes up through there when it's on. This is the Venturi. I uh, drain about five or so gallons a day in the morning from the fish side into this side, and then I just replace the, uh, the fish side water. 
in the uh, sump tank. Right now I'm working on getting the pHs for both sides uh, where I want them. I want to get the fish around 7. It's around 7.6 now. And I want to get the, um, the plant side at about 6.5ish. Somewhere in there. I'm going to probably go buy some plants tomorrow and uh, throw them in there and see how they do. Uh, the nitrate levels are identical for both sides. Even though I've only put about 10 or so gallons of the fish water in the uh, plant side, it's already got as many nitrates, according to my tests, as the fish side, which is really surprising to me. I thought it would take a while to build up, but it turns out it doesn't take any time at all. So that's good news. Anyway, let me go plug this thing in and you can see it working. Sorry about the jiggling. Okay, so that goes. Yeah. Let's take some out of the renovation tank for the thing. As the flow increases. I'll try to hold this closer so you can hear me. It's pretty loud. That's about how much comes out of the mineralization tank. And then uh, you can see the water coming out. That's adjustable. I haven't timed these yet to see exactly how fast I want them to fill up or drain. Yeah, this one's just starting to fill. And this one. Yeah, both the same. Starting to fill up. I might increase the flow a little bit on both of these. And then this is going to be my Dutch bucket system. I'll put 10 of those in here, like I had on the last one. Got to move it, uh, level it, and then uh, go ahead and uh, hook it up. And I'll probably do that today sometime as well. And that's basically the system. Not much to it, but it seems to be working really well. I'm real happy with it. Any questions, comments, leave them on, uh, on the site. Thanks, bye.